Hey guys, Killer Whale here again. This time I got some gameplay in the arena, single digit onyx on the map Synapse. And during this game I jetpacked very aggressively against the other team. And I basically just do everything I can to respond to callouts from my teammates about where the enemies are while using my jetpack. I exploit a couple of spots on the map that I'm going to show you that are pretty easy to get to and once you get up there they're very helpful. So, start of the game I pick up our sniper and I stay back a little bit because I want to put shots on everyone I can. They one shot on him but they rush our shotgun with three people and I end up getting beat down. I don't have much of a chance. But our team gets rockets because their team sent everyone over to the shotgun. Here I jetpack up into our base because I want to have a slightly higher spot to shoot at the guys from shotgun from. And uh, the little, two little pieces of cover in your base can actually be pretty useful for uh, shooting at enemies who are at rockets or at shotgun. Here, if you lift up to the top of shotgun where I am right now, it's a pretty useful spot because people aren't looking up there that often, and you have a 10 second time limit to stay up there and shoot down on, you can see most of the map from there. So you have 10 seconds up there to shoot at everyone you can before you drop back down. And I'm, I do that a lot this game just because it's such a useful and easily exploitable spot. Here I'm holding shotgun, just listening to call outs from my teammates about where to shoot. Kill three, find the last one, and go in, pull off the overkill, but I don't chase in because even if I wanted the kill tag, which I did, I didn't want to go in there and just end up fighting three and getting myself killed. I hug the wall instead and try to fight one enemy at a time so I can just stay in their base harassing them. I'm jetpacking around trying to keep myself out of their sights, but I get shot to no shields jump into their base, they got a lot of angles on me, and one of them goes around down low and shoots up at me to finish me off. Now, what I do during this game is, whenever I can find an opening that my teammates make, I try to make my way into the enemy base, just because while they're focusing on me, that means my teammates can shoot at them from far away and not have to worry about the enemy shooting back, because they'll all be busy running around in their base trying to kill, you know, the annoying jetpacking guy, which is me and they won't have time to look at my teammates in order to get them. Here, all three members of our team are over on rockets, so I decide eh, they're not going to start behind me. I'm going to jump in. And I get one enemy, turn around, before I can get the other one, I get hit with a lucky grenade. End up getting cleaned up. Now, our team is all over top middle, so I decide to jetpack up to these rocks again. You can see you can see inside their base, you can see a lot of places from up here. So I put a couple shots in a bunch of people, drop down before the time limit reaches zero, and then jetpack over to here. Looking around to see where enemies might be. Listening to my teammates call out, I put a couple shots there, but I get charged by three at shotgun again. But if they're, since their whole team was shotgun, that means my whole team managed to get over to rocket side. And the rockets were coming up in a minute, so we got those again. Rockets and these snipers are very important on this map. If you use the snipers well, they can actually be more important than the rockets, but the rockets are still just a huge deal to control them when they come up. I drop into their base and get three guys shot as much as I could before I die. My teammates clean up one and then end up pushing into the base in a second and get another one of them. See, so just jetpacking from sp just up into the air really quick on our side, just a spot they wouldn't be looking at and put a couple shots into each of them just as an annoyance. Basically, they won't be fighting anyone with their full shields and it can be helpful even one shot just a little bit later. Using the same spot. Oh my god, it was so good. You know, going clutch with the sniper again. But whenever I have the sniper, it's better to stay back and not push up as aggressively as I would if I, uh, you know, if I didn't have a power weapon. Just with the sniper, just stay back on this map, cover your teammates without being super aggressive. Saw so one top mid, so you just check the spot in case they decide to pop back out, but not for too long. If they don't, just give up on it, move somewhere else. Get one enemy, headshot another, I drop because the time will turn out, I get one more shot and a third one. Now on this map, there's only three main spawn points the enemies can start, and that's over in their rocket corner, in their sniper dish, and inside their base. So if you kill an enemy at one of those three spots, it's a safe assumption that they will start in one of the other two, so just keep your eyes on those whenever you, you know, you've killed a bunch of enemies in one place. I just killed two by their sniper dish, so 
throwing grenades in their base. And I jump back over here because I know they're not going to spawn there since I just killed them there. So they're probably all starting over by their rockets or under their base. I weaken him and then drop into their base. I know he's crouching in there. I just poke down at him. Get spammed by his friend. I barely managed to kill him before I die. But still, I make the two enemies that were under the base, I force them to go back under the base after me so my team can move up a little bit more without having to worry about them. I just jetpack right back into top middle under the fight, and I know they're all weakened under their base, so I just kill the two that run out, be a little over aggressive, get him weak, and then I die. But. Spawn, just make my way right back over the shotgun. Putting shots from up here again, just keep using this spot so that I can put shots in them without them seeing me. A couple of quick, like, peak shots at them and then you drop back down every time. Rockets are going to be up soon and their whole team seems to be over by rockets, so I'm just jetpacking up, looking over there, trying to cover my teammates. Clean up one enemy, drop back down make my way a little bit closer to their side, seeing if they're moving towards rockets yet. Team makes their way over, but they're too late. Our buddy has rockets and he cleans them up. Uh, kill one enemy, trade kills right there. Safe to trade a couple of kills, like give yourself up in situations like that when your team is up by a lot. I just wanted to be as aggressive as possible during this, so I figured why not just attack him. Back up to this spot again because of its usefulness. Not once since I've been up here all game has an enemy actually looked up at me in this spot. So I'm just showing it's really easy to just abuse that place. Make all the enemies weaken for your teammates. In the DMR fight here, game over. Alright guys, hope you like the gameplay, hope it helps you, and uh, see you next time.